Now we're going to move on to hard engineering coastal management strategies. As a summary, hard engineering strategies are usually made using concrete or steel. They tend to be human made and usually cost a lot to build. And they work very much against natural processes. The examples of hard engineering strategies I'm going to take you through include groins, revetments, sea walls, gabions, and riprap. And these are all examples of hard engineering strategies. So here I am on the BBC Bite Size website and we can see very clearly pictures of wooden groins. These are barriers built at right angles to the beach and you can see how they trap sediment between them which help build up a larger beach and which can absorb wave energy and therefore reduce erosion. So obviously the good thing about groins is they're highly effective at absorbing wave energy and reducing erosion, but clearly by trapping the sand they starve areas of coastline further down the coast of sand which may lead to further erosion in these areas. So a sad thing about groins is by trapping sand areas further down the coastline are starved of sand. leading to increased erosion in these areas. Next up, revetments. So now I'm pinging to Wikipedia and we're looking at revetments. These are sloping structures built on embankments or shorelines along the base of the cliff. And again, they will absorb wave energy and reduce erosion. But I think we can agree they're pretty aesthetically unappealing, i.e. they're super ugly, but they are very effective. Obviously, once they start rotting, then they'll need replacing, which will have a large impact in terms of cost. Because they're made from wood, they're a fairly low cost solution. And again, we can steal this point here, saying that they absorb wave energy and reduce erosion. But the sad thing about them is that they are aesthetically unappealing. Sea walls. So here's a sea wall. These are concrete barriers that limit the effect of coastal erosion. And they're very good for reducing damage to high value land. They're hard wearing, but they're usually the most expensive option. And obviously over time they can become eroded themselves so they need maintenance. So they limit damage to high value land. They're hard wearing. They're expensive to install. And need maintenance. And this is what you'll find is common with all hard engineering strategies is the level of maintenance they'll all require. Gabions. Now here's a gabion, you can see that a meshwork is created usually out of steel and that these will contain rocks. Again, the thought process behind this is that it will help absorb the wave's energy and prevent erosion. So they'll absorb wave energy, reduce erosion. They're cheap and easy to build. 
a lot of people find them aesthetically unappealing. Last up, Rip Wrap, Rock Armour. Large rocks or boulders are placed in front of the cliff. They act to absorb wave energy, reducing erosion. People tend to find this more aesthetically pleasing because they look more natural than a concrete wall. But the disadvantage is that strong waves can cause the boulders to move, meaning they need to be replaced. <laughs> 